What's up guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. It is Saturday, Darlington Dragway, Carolina no time, all still all glass. Uh, we run okay last night. The car did not perform where we thought it should have performed for what kind of dyno hub numbers we made. But so we're making some changes to the car and hopefully it goes faster. Check it out guys, comment, like, and subscribe. If y'all wanna support the channel, head on over to turbojohnracing.com, grab yourself some hats and t-shirts. Don't forget, we got a few more spots available if you wanna get entered to win the front wheel off of the crash car go by that turbo keychain appreciate it guys all right guys so we've been doing some tuning talk uh devin come over here uh hate crime racing go check out his youtube channel as well so we got to verify timing and we we're looking at fueling and last night we started pulling fuel out we you know we made good numbers on the dyno and we had it rich and we think devin's got good experience with the, these engines too he run one similar to this for a very long time and uh, the amount of fuel that we have in it to get the plug to look right is we we've been with the timing we've been putting the fuel in it so we're going to try which we leaned it out on the second pass i leaned it out and i added a degree of timing but it picked up two three mile per hour two mile per hour with less boost so that was the right direction so my thought process was leaning it back out so leaning the thing back out to make it so that we're going to take some timing out so that we can burn the fuel more efficiently there's two methods of tuning and it's a lot of fuel with a lot of timing or less fuel with less timing and generally you know the the, the less fuel with less timing the closer you can spark it to top dead center probably is better Devin, i appreciate you coming over and helping he also found us a couple other problems we got some oil pressure issues which we've always had and uh we think what well, Devin thinks possibly that this is the culprit right here uh the the, the this is the primer mm -hmm. and this thing has been dropping oil like it, overnight there's no oil in this at all and honestly i was just like i don't know what's happening and so we think what's happening is it's back feeding because you said there that's connected completely yeah so this is actually a shared this is this area shared in here uh, it, it's been in the past for me right so this is a feed from the bottom of the tank tanks drain back through here back through here and yeah, that's what so, it, it makes sense. Pump, so. so that's why the oil pressure is probably dropping. Well, I think the reason why you have an oil pressure issue is because you've got oil pressure feed here. There's your oil pressure feed here. Um, it's going through here. If this is a shared union, what you're doing is you're pumping oil back here into the tank. Right. I think, so, I think so, too. We'll see. You know, and that's, that, that would be my move is to just cap it and try. All right. Well, we're going to try it. Y'all can check out Devin's channel. Uh, he wired his car. Oh, Devin, while you're over here, mm -hmm. I got some other questions. All right, guys, check them out. Hey, hey, crime racing. All right. So here we go, guys. This is first startup. So we're going to crank it up, warm it up, uh, get everything cleaned up. Uh, so Devin come over and he was helping out uh, with us too, looking over the data log. It's always helpful. Uh, we got him to look at a few other things on the car as well. So uh, hopefully uh, we're fixing to make a, a good pass. He kind of confirmed. So, we, you know, there's a couple ways to tune the car. Uh, really rich, a lot of timing, less timing, and leaner. And so we just, we tried the the way fat and a bunch of timing, and we even had a little less timing in it. And it, it, it worked, it run okay, but it's still not where it needs to be. And so every car is a little bit different. Now something we did go over uh, off camera that was something that's interesting. I hadn't never really, really looked at it, honestly, but he was calling it fuel pressure delta and basically what it is is uh, as it makes boost how much does it add fuel pressure so generally it would go one to one and it would add uh base pressures at 90 at 50 pounds of boost it would be 140 pounds of pressure uh randy's has got 10 more psi than that so at 45 pounds of boost it had 100 and uh 45 90 it had 145 pounds of fuel pressure i think it was so, uh, yeah, so we are uh, making some changes. Let's warm it up.
All right, guys. Well, uh, it slowed down. It slowed down uh, eight mile an hour. So we're fixing to uh, look at the plug again and see if we can tell exactly what it is. We'll look at the data log. Um, the GoPro stuff, we screwed that up too. <laughs> we uh, didn't get either GoPro turned on. Uh, so neither GoPro uh, got footage, which that sucks because we were racing John Dock. That would have been good footage uh, with John outrunning Randy. I could have replayed that forever. Now granted, well, that is our slowest pass of the weekend. It didn't go but 117, 60 foot. I mean, and that's what we weaked it up, uh, we thought. But the, the track was kind of bare out there, so I mean, it might not have took it. That's why I had, I had I had Terry Wayne, we moved you over a little bit to get you away from that spot on the track. All right, let's pull the plugs. Uh, and then we didn't record. Um, we thought we were time lapsing coming back, but we missed that too. I, you know, hopefully, I, I don't even know if my, I need to check my phone to make sure I got the pass recorded. I don't even know if we got the pass record. Did you record it? You sure? You better look. You better make sure. We we, we look like a, a bunch of chumps that time. All right. It is what it is. Maybe the, like Brandon said, the positive side, maybe we just got all our, our screw-ups out right then. <laughs> all right, guys. So we were looking at the data log here, and the car slowed down, and I just saw the reason why. That yellow line right there is cylinder number five. Uh, watch the EGTs over here. So they come up and you can see the RPM even drops. And then uh, cylinder it starts dropping. See the temperature, cylinder number five, it drops completely down that yellow line. So basically we're running it on seven cylinders from about the 60 foot on. Uh, so now, now I did have a couple of cylinders out here that were a little warm. So we're just looking at the plugs and it, it may be a little too too retarded on timing is what it may be uh, so it was it was definitely really really slow but it was on seven cylinders so you figure if you do the math uh, yeah if you do the math we were probably down 400 horsepower 350 horsepower since it was on seven cylinders so uh, not too bad uh, EGTs are way up the plugs actually look a little better so here is the plugs uh, so there's a couple of these that you can see they're definitely looking hotter and cleaner but number number five right there that's what when we pulled number five out i was like oh that looks like a perfect plug and it's not sparking so yeah but these are uh the, the, the cadmium is burning on them it's not completely burned yet though. so you can kind of start to see it uh that number three though looks really funky to me and there is some there's some shiny spots on it so uh yeah that one that one looks like it needs work it looks like it needs either less continue taking less fuel more fuel out is at 4200 pounds then but maybe that one needs a little bit less timing remember timing and fueling are in one uh when randy pulled the spark plug boot off of that one over there he said everything felt fine on it so we're just gonna check real fast to make sure we still got gap in it yep so we're going to just check to make sure that we hadn't knocked a rock arm off or anything. All right, guys. So we got the rock arms off of it, and they are. We didn't get rock arms off of it. Randy got the valve cover off of it, and uh, lash is still good. We did just check them hot. So remember, we set them on eight cold, and now it's hot, and they are on nineteen. And so all these are good. We just checked this whole side. So most likely what happened is, uh, hopefully all it was is the spark plug wire was a little loose on the spark plug. It was 1.30 in the morning. That, I mean, that's true. We didn't check it. We didn't check it this morning. It was, but we did. It was late last night. So I guess we should have checked that today. Check them. If you ever do that again, I'll check them. But, um, so it just lost it. So it probably vibrated loose. It probably just didn't get all the way on there. Uh, and that happens. So uh, we're gonna make some little bit of tune-up changes. I'm gonna probably run those plugs under the Devin since Devin is helping us today. And uh, you know, we get a lot of help from a lot of people and I really appreciate it. And there's a lot of different ways to tune a car and there ain't no one particular right way or wrong way. And so that's what we're today. We're just trying to go back the opposite way of where we were at. All right, guys, I, uh, Devin's over here. I, I didn't know, you, Devin offers on-site, on-site, track-side 
tuning. I'm very selective with him. <laughs> very selective. Look, I, I didn't even want to come down here. I hear him all the time say, don't bring your computer, don't bring your plugs to my trailer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And Randy, Randy, Randy grabbed him earlier today, so I was like, I felt like that was my end to come down to Devin's trailer. Look, but when I come in, the trailer was full of Josh and another dude, and he was just talking about how he didn't want to look at nobody's trailer. <laughs> no, no, he didn't want to be looking at nobody's stuff. Yeah, and he's right. like, look, somebody's coming in with the uh, laptop. The laptop yeah. So look, so uh, he's probably going to kill me in a minute, but look, I'm giving him a YouTube plug. Hate crime. Grayson, yeah, he will kill you if you bring your stuff to the track. I better get out. I better get out. I'm just kidding. No, he's a good dude. He tries to help all he can. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And he is busy now. He is so actively tuning uh, this car over here as well. Oh my god! I, can I show that on the? Yeah. Oh my goodness! That is uh wow. It's a mess right now. <laughs> that is really bad to the bone. Oh, Woo! That's the F1X12? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That that is I didn't realize it was that. Was that. The third pass on the car. Right? Yep. Is it going to be um a, what a clock zone or no time? We're gonna do whatever shoot out race. Shoot out race. Shoot out race. I, I got you. Yeah. Man. He, wanted, he wanted something cool that has enemies and makes awesome noises in there. <laughs> yes, that is that is freaking amazing. Alright guys, appreciate it. Well let's go look at it. All right, guys, here we go. So we're gonna go up there and make another pass. We made all those changes to the tune. So we'll see what happens. Uh, basically just took some timing out of it in those holes that looked like it was timing sensitive. So now we are, Devin has a lot of experience with these heads. He's run this type of head a lot. And so we're about where he thought it would probably be with the timing wise. So we'll see what happens here. Um, and the fuel should be about 4,000, 4,100 pounds of fuel at 45 pounds of boost, which is a little lower than what we've been running, of course, but we've also been hitting it with a bunch of, you know, timing. So uh, we'll see what happens here. We're going up there now, make a pass. It's gonna be fun. We also, we got a plug from, from those guys. Uh, luckily they had two number 10 caps, so can't thank them enough. We took that line off of that actual uh, primer. So we're gonna see if the oil pressure stays up. If the oil pressure stays up, uh, during the past, then we know that was the problem. Uh, let's see. We'll let you know. I'll, I'll let you know in a second. Here we go.
that pass was. Although it was less mess ups than last time. So that's a good thing, I guess, right? So we got more stuff accurate. Um, car did go 113.60 foot. Uh, went a 291 to the half track, so that's good. But we got no eighth mile mile per hour or no eighth mile ET. What do you think about that, Brandon? We're gonna need a draggy. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, first the, the tree burns both of the cars down. Now our transmission fluid has got to be changed. We, and, and you know what, guys? We ain't got no transmission fluid. So transmission fluid is toast. Uh, when you spool it up and you're ready to go, and then you do it again instantly, it's not good. It is not good at all. So, uh, I mean, stuff happens. I mean, it happens on a tree occasionally, and I mean, it just it just is what it is. Um, so we're gonna pull the die log, we're gonna pull the plugs, we're gonna pull the drain pan on the uh, car because we gotta pull the catch can, uh, the, the catch tray, whatever it's called. Okay. Yeah, we gotta pull that down so that we can get the transmission fluid out. And then we gotta find transmission fluid because uh, it takes, I mean, uh, it's gonna take probably, probably eight quarts to change it. Um, realistically, we need to probably change, realistically, we probably need to change it into the cooler as well because it's all, it was burning, it was smelling burnt before and after that pass and that basically uh, burned down and then that pass, two passes back to back, I promise you the fluid is very stinky. It is very, very, very stinky. So uh, we got some work to do. Uh, Hopefully that maybe the drive shaft sensor worked. Uh, we did reset the gap on that. So uh, we got, we did have a uh, mile per hour on that last time, but man, you know what? It sucks when you, when you're trying to tune something and you get no data, right? So we get one more shakedown. So hopefully the one more shakedown will be, will be fine. So it is what it is. We're having fun. We're at the racetrack. Here we go. All right guys, so we just made that pass and we just looked at the data. Uh, air fuel ratio was 3.2, 4,200 pounds of fuel. 113.60 foot. Uh, we don't know what it run, eighth mile, ET or mile per hour. Our drive shaft sensor stopped working again. So hopefully, man, that thing's got some separation in the back. Randy, boy, that's a lot of separation in the back. That's why it looks going down the track, but the front wheels ain't usually up. But anyway, sidetrack. We got uh, this thing, uh, it's crazy looking at the EGTs. EGTs are f over 1500 degrees in probably three or four holes and when you look at the plugs that's not what the plug is showing so you got two things when that usually happens right typically when you have that kind of egt uh usually that means it's under time remember we were talking about timing and fuel and being intertwined together you can see that there's starting to be some timing marks starting to kind of develop on a couple of these it still looks like it had 9.7 degrees of timing at that point so the timing was still really, really low. Uh, so it's really low. So it means it's over fuel for that. So I think we're going to drop some. I think we're going to drop some fuel out of it and lean it out some more. So maybe our O2 sensor is reading correctly, and it is functioning the way it's supposed to. So we're going to lean it out some instead of targeting three two. Uh, we're going to target three four, and take a little bit of fuel out of it. Try to get maybe 38, 3900 pounds of fuel. I have no idea what kind of mile per hour we run, unfortunately. Uh, we don't know what DT was. Uh, we went 291 to the half track. So we're sharing a lot of information, but that was about what we went last night. That was actually exactly what we went, I think it was last night. We went 291 or 292, and it was uh, with a 116.60 foot. But we had a bunch of timing in it, and we had a lot of fuel in it. So uh, changing transmission fluid. Brandon has gone to O'Reilly's now to get us some fluid. So transmission, anytime that tree malfunctions like that, <laughs> I mean, you gotta change fluid, you just got to. So that's what they're on now. What are you guys doing? doing how y'all liking the racetrack? We like it good. Is this, how long, y'all, is this y'all's first time coming? Uh, my first time. Is it? How often do y'all come? Uh, I've come on, come here often. Do you? Oh, it's been a little while, gotcha. All right, well, this is your first time, so you're really enjoying it, huh? All right, cool deal. Well, good seeing you guys. Appreciate y'all coming out. They watch the YouTube channel. Appreciate it. Have some fun. Look, y'all watch the YouTube channel too? Oh, cool, man. Well, good seeing you guys too. Appreciate it. Y'all having fun today? Yeah. All right. Do I? When I came in, I saw the car. I was trying to find y'all. Oh, yeah. We parked out way out here by ourselves. We're in the, uh, the far. I don't think there's anybody any further out here, is there? We're a long ways from the track. All right, guys, appreciate it. Y'all take care. All right, guys, so we are under here drain the transmission fluid. 
if only I could put smells into a video, <laughs> this smells horrible. So one of the things, uh, we got to race Chris Keeney. They had driver's meeting a few minutes ago. Uh, Chris actually had transmission fluid, uh, transmission problem. So we had a little bit of fluid. We gave him that and Brandon just got back from O'Reilly's getting us a measuring pan and uh, some fluid. So we run the Castro Blue. Brandon, is that picking up that it's not really blue? It's kind of greenish brown. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, in, in the container down here, it is uh, black. Oh, no, and it's, oh, don't get that on me. God, I don't want that Let's stuff. Let's get ready to splash. Oh, no, let me back out here, because <laughs> it is like, yeah. I did, you, boy, that smell is terrible. Burnt transmission fluid, and Castrol is better than like regular high guard or any of the other like, uh, oh man, I can't, I can't. Oh, it's splashing all over. Hold on, Let's, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to help it not splash. Um, Cause that stinks. But uh, regular hydraulic fluid smells 50 times worse and it's not as good. Uh, that just got way worse. Yeah. All right, appreciate it guys.